everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm cassandra for this week's video we are doing another work week in my life video and this is my very first week working full time i started off as an intern i ended up getting hired part time and now they hired me to be full time so i'm very very excited and for those of you who are new i do work in fashion pr i work in a pr showroom and yeah i love my job i love the people i work with and yeah it is monday i'm currently getting ready i have been loving doing my makeup by my window just because I got all the natural lighting and now that it's spring the weather has been so so nice it was also very rainy for the past few weeks here in LA and now the weather is just beautiful <laughs> I'm just gonna set you guys here for a moment um I put on lipstick I thought I was filming it because I wanted to show you guys my new favorite lip combo and I didn't press record but I will show you guys anyway I actually shared this on TikTok but I have been really really into the Hourglass Cosmetics lip products so, my current favorite lip combo is one Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk, classic. And then I go in with this skinny lipstick. I don't know the exact name of the product, but I'll put it in the description box. But this skinny lipstick thing in the shade, I'm addicted. Is it even, can you see that? There we go. And this is just a very pretty like rose neutral shade. And then after this, on top of that, I use, these were called like the volumizing lip balm glossy something like i said i'll put it in the description box but i use the shade slip and it's again a pretty rosy sort of shade so it makes this very pretty neutral rosy thing like what i keep saying <laughs> so for today i don't know how much i'm gonna actually film at work because i know we have an intern doing a trial day today and that's just kind of a trial day is like a day to see if that intern even wants to do the internship, which I really appreciate that my boss does because I know some people kind of go into an internship and they don't even want to do it once they kind of see how it goes. So there's gonna be a new intern doing a trial day. So I don't really want to scare them off with like a camera and like, hey, you know, so I'm not sure how much I'll film today, but I'm not sure if it's very busy because award show season is over. So we don't have a lot of appointments coming in for award shows but i did see a few updates on the calendar so let's see how busy it is also it's april fools lol one two three four just four appointments anyway let's choose an outfit <laughs> this is low-key not the smartest setup because my mirror is literally like basically outside but anyway to my outfits i am thinking between wearing these shorts with this tank top and this cardigan except i would leave the cardigan open and only button the very top or these shorts with this striped sweater. It's very cute when you kind of like zip it down and has a little collar. And either these cowboy boots or, oh my God, these have been my new obsession. These are the Rothy's Mary Jane flats and they're so cute, so comfortable, especially if you're a corporate girly or you just have a job where you have to walk, stand a lot, so comfortable because most flats give me blisters and these are so comfy. So let's see what works. I have a feeling the flats are gonna look a little goofy with the shorts because the shorts are like these awkward length like that and I do like that length but I do call them my little lad shorts because they're they just give off little lad vibes you'll know what I mean but let's see let's see okay this is actually kind of cute I'm not gonna even bother trying on the other option because it's already 10 30 and I have to be at the showroom at 11 but yeah the flats ew, the flats look a little goofy unfortunately so I think I'm gonna put the boots on so one moment please this is probably gonna look so much better because i love these shorts with these boots yeehaw yeah look how much cuter that is <gasps> okay i got my bag also <laughs> lol i got the whole alex earl light and it makes a slight difference when i'm talking in the mirror but love you before i head out i'm gonna quickly make an iced latte to go also, these are my favorite. <laughs> this is such a dumb favorite, but this is my favorite ice cube tray. I love little ice. I said this in my last video that I feel like certain ice makes or breaks your drink. And I love tiny crushed bits of ice or just tiny cubes of ice. And this is in the shape of a honeycomb. I don't have much ice left. One pump of vanilla syrup. 
some milk. And I ran out of espresso pods. Um, I usually use like a double shot of espresso, but I don't have any, so I have to use like regular coffee capsule. So I'm just gonna stop it halfway through. Yum. Let's do a cheeky little taste test. I can tell a lot of the ice melted and that does not make me happy. So this is probably gonna suck. Let's see. Actually, it's still pretty good. I'd rather take this because I hate to admit it, but most of my money goes away to coffee shop. So this is lovely. Let me pack my lunch. For lunch, I just have this salad. It's actually a pre-made Trader Joe's salad or a bag salad from Trader Joe's. It's the lemony arugula salad kit and it's so good, especially because arugula is my favorite um, salad and it's very good. There's Parmesan, there's like wal not walnuts, almonds, Mwah, tasty. Here is the full outfit of the day with the lunchbox, coffee in hand. I added this little necklace. It's a heart with a K in it and hoop earrings. Woo, all right, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Welcome to work. Give us the full outfit details. Oh, um, cute. Wide. Zara boots. Cute. Um, this is vintage Pendleton. Oh my goodness, cute. And yeah. <gasps> wow. Ooh. Oh my goodness. 360. Like, what is it? The glam bag? <laughs> like. Tuesday morning, I got my favorite eye patches on. They're from Pixie. Favorite lip balm, coffee. Oh, beautiful morning. Fall and winter is my favorite season, but every time it's spring, I'm instantly just in such a good mood. Like, look at the lighting in my room. It's beautiful. Wow. Hmm. Yesterday was pretty slow, as you guys saw. Um, we had a few appointments. Um, we got new shoes from one of our clients. So on slower days, it's nice because we have time to kind of do all the inventory, all of the other things that we usually don't do when it's super busy with appointments. So there's actually so many shoes that we have to finish in putting the shoes in the system today. But today it does look a bit busier than yesterday. And I ended up filming more um, at the showroom because the intern actually never showed up. I don't know if they're gonna reschedule or if they just didn't come, which since I'm full time now and I'm gonna be there five times a week, I feel like the footage at the showroom is gonna get kind of repetitive. So I won't film as much today, but this morning I was editing some of this video because now that I am full time, I kind of have to figure out where I'm gonna input my editing time because now I don't have three empty days to edit. So I wanna be a bit more on top of it. So I edited a bit last night and this morning and also yesterday we had a little meeting now that i'm full-time also it was so sweet because my best friend mar she messaged me being like congrats on your first day being full-time and then some of you guys said congrats on being hired full-time after i posted my last video which is so so sweet and oh also one of you guys dm'd me on instagram saying what camera do i use and i responded but after i responded instagram said this user can't receive messages from everybody. So I don't know if you got my answer, but I use the Sony ZV-E10. I'll link it down below, I'll put it in the description box, but I don't know if my response went through. I don't want you guys to think I didn't respond or see your message, but hopefully it went through. If not, I use the Sony ZV-E10. Also, I'm looking like Rufus the naked mole rat right now, but I'm gonna get my period soon. So I woke up with this freaking honker on my face but anyway <laughs> what i was saying we had a little meeting yesterday um it was me my coworker. also for context we are such a small company it's literally just me and my coworker elio which he's been in my other videos but it made it a little confusing because on my very first work week video there was like other people in the vlog but they were interns when i started off as an intern so their internship 
was over so they're no longer there so it's just me and elio um i know we're like looking for new interns and stuff but anyway we had a meeting and now that i'm full time they were like okay we need to discuss what exactly you do and what he does so you guys kind of have like your own specific roles you know and they were so sweet because they printed us out um this little sheet with everything we have to do so hold on this is basically everything i have to do a lot of it is stuff i've already been doing but they handed styling to me which i'm so excited about because the styling sessions are one of my favorite things about this job and this is something that's pretty new as well but i'm gonna be managing the fashion calendar but that just means like annual events that happen in the fashion world like fashion weeks and stuff like that so that's something new that my boss is going to teach me but yeah if you guys kind of want to look at this if you guys are interested in the whole pr world this is i'm pretty sure this is very much of a entry level job but this is a little bit of the things that i do so that was yesterday and i'm gonna chill finish my coffee and then i'm gonna start getting ready i'll show you guys my outfit and then we'll head out why do i like smile at the end after i finish the sentence or mm. okay i was feeling very springy today this is an old free people skirt switched to my pink long champ tote for spring colors but i have to head out it's 10 40. Um, I'll film a little bit at the showroom, but I will most likely see you guys when I come back. And oh, let me show you guys my cowboy boots. Aren't they so cute? I have not worn these since the last time I went to stagecoach, but okay, let's go. ready to go to bed and the intern actually ended up coming today for her trial day and it's funny because when she came we found out we ended up going to the same school together so we both went to SF State and we found out we both had the same major and then she was describing an event that happened in one of her classes and then I was like wait I I was there like I know that this happened so then we found out we were in the same class together like the same exact class together and she was like oh that's so funny because i would sit in the middle of the class and i would sit in the back of the class so it's funny how we never met until now but we were in the same class same major same school i love when the world does that it's it's crazy what a small world but anyway i'm gonna head to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye Wednesday. Today, it's not gonna be mega busy for us, but one of my bosses, they own a magazine. So they have like a little studio in the back where they do photo shoots. The magazine also has interns that write for the magazine as well. So there's gonna be a whole photo shoot going on. So on Monday, they told us about that. And we usually don't have much to do with the magazine, but the singer that they're gonna photograph today, she, her thing is that she only wears blue. That's like her whole branding. So on Monday, I kind of, kind of grabbed as many blue pieces that we have in our showroom and then just left them in the studio. I'm gonna insert some little clips that I took on Monday of that. What else? Oh, this morning I felt quite productive. I edited some of this vlog. I also posted a TikTok that I had to post for a brand that I work with. So that went up and yeah, I had a very chill morning. Um, I have not worked out in a hot minute. Like my mornings have been so nice lately because also it's very nice that I don't have to go in until 11, but my mornings have been very nice, very leisurely. I've been having my coffee and stuff and I'm like, I need to go back to the gym. And I hate the fact that I made that vlog of me trying to get back into like healthier habits. And I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym three times a week and I did for a few weeks and then I never committed to a membership at any of the workout classes that I tried. I mean, I loved all of them 
and I used to love bar. I did bar for like a year now and my membership was, I had to finish my membership last month. So I just kind of finished that up and now it's over. And then I was like, what am I gonna commit to? I'm gonna do core power. Am I gonna do Pilates? What am I gonna do? And I feel like the topic of what workout class I'm gonna do is like my number one most indecisive topic that I've mentioned in my past few vlogs. I've tried so many things and like I said, I've liked them all, but I'm always super like, okay, like how much is this gonna cost me in the month? Is it convenient to get there? Is parking easy? And then I was like, why am I trying so hard to commit to one class if I like everything? So I am done talking about what workout class I'm gonna take because it's probably so annoying for you guys. And you're probably like, I thought you said you were a core power girly. I thought you wanna do Pilates, all this. Like I said, I like them all. So I'm not gonna buy a membership at the moment for anything. I'm just gonna go to whatever I like. I've done a few at home workouts. Um, throughout the month, which has been nice as well. So speaking of workouts <laughs> Tomorrow I signed myself up for a cycling class. It's not soul cycle um, It's a place that's actually very close to me and the parking is easy So I'm gonna see how that goes. I'm not even gonna bother saying like yeah, I'm gonna stick with this. I'm just gonna Go with the flow, but you know what? It's okay that I fell off my routine, you know, it happens. I will get there. I will eventually get to consistency, but why don't I even mention that? Oh, I probably mentioned it because my hair is kind of gross today. I had a whole hair wash plan. I had a whole hair wash plan planned out for me. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to a 6.30 a.m. cycling class today and then I can wash my hair, but they only had an 8.30 class. That's the only flaw of the cycling place. It's so small, the studio is very small that they don't have, so, they don't have a lot of times. So tomorrow they have a 6.30 class. I'm gonna go to that tomorrow. And yeah, it is 10, 14, I gotta leave soon. Um, let me go fix my hair and then I'm gonna change and we will head out. Okay, here's my outfit for today. Cute, casual, I love this shirt. And believe it or not, I am wearing this with my low-key kind of ugly Birkenstocks. I always liked them, but I would never wear them in public because I'm like, they are low-key kind of ugly, but I think it makes my outfit kind of cute and then i just stuck with the bag because spring and i will see you guys later hello i am back from work i came back a few hours ago just had dinner now me and my sister right there we are <laughs> the peace sign we are watching our current favorite show which is 911. we're only on the first season but elio got me hooked on this show because he already watched the seventh season and i wish we were caught up because supposedly they're doing like a bachelor collab episode and that's so funny so i wish we were caught up but we're only on season one um work was lovely it was pretty slow but during lunchtime elio and i went to dobrix because it's only a few blocks away from where i work and then we ended up seeing david dobrik and that harry guy from too hot to handle imagine someone's like the hairy guy <laughs> they were filming like some promotion for their pizza so that was funny that is kind of like my only update and and as a sweet little treat i am having some homemade arroz con leche it's i mean it's basically done those are some little cinnamon sticks this is so freaking good because it's not too sweet okay my sister is done with her work for the evening so christina christina please who is your favorite character in 911? Actually, we don't even know their names, huh? We just we've just I'm, been I'm not there yet. I don't have a I need to <laughs> suss them out more. <laughs> what what them out? I gotta suss them out more. Suss them out. Alright. Alright, press play. <laughs> Let me get screensaver. <laughs> Those last two episodes were honestly just wild. I feel like the first few episodes we watched, yeah, the scenarios were pretty crazy and out there. But I feel like these last two episodes were just so outlandish and super like, what the heck did I just watch? But highly recommend 911. I'm also usually not really into those types of shows, but I've really been enjoying that so far. And currently, right now, I'm choosing my workout outfit for the morning since I did book that 6.30 a.m. cycling class. So I just want to have this already out for when I wake up in the morning. So I'm going to wear this aloe top with these aloe leggings and I guess just a quick little check-in of how I've been feeling working 
full time, I have honestly been feeling pretty good, very energized. I remember when, oh, this light is my hatch alarm clock signifying that it is time for me to go to bed. I'll change that in a second, but I remember when I started working part time, I remember that vlog. I just remember I was so exhausted and so tired, but I feel very energized. I'm probably just used to being there more often. So for me, going every single day, it's like, oh, I got this. Um, I hope that makes sense. And let me change this alarm clock because it's just, this noise is just in the background. <laughs> I took my makeup off. I changed my alarm clock to play green noise, which I never knew I needed. It instantly makes me fall asleep and I sleep so much better. Last week, our power went out in the middle of the night and then the green noise just stopped. And I woke up and I was like, not to be dramatic, but I can't fall asleep. But anyway, I can't stop thinking about that 911 episode. I wasn't gonna say what happened because it's kind of gross, but one of the emergencies was that this guy was so drunk that he started eating. Why am I not focused? There we go. One of the guys started eating someone's face off and I was like, lol, this show is so random, but Sweet dreams, 911's a good show, and I will see you guys tomorrow at six in the morning. Good morning, it is 6 a.m. I am currently looking like a naked mole rat once again, but I woke up at like 5.30, just because since I am new to this place, I have to be there about like, five to 10 minutes earlier. So just to be safe, I woke up extra early. I also want a time to kind of make my bed, make my coffee, but it is six. I'm probably gonna head out at like 6.10. Here's my workout outfit. It's aloe, I got it last year, Aritzia hoodie, baggy bag, cute. But I have some time until I have to head out. So I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and then yeah, we'll head out in a second. I'm about to head out in a little bit, but that workout class was so much fun. It was so cool. Everybody there was super, super nice. And what I liked about this place is that the room was super spacious and the bikes were perfectly spaced out just because Soul Cycle, everything's very compact. Everything's very close to each other. And if you're claustrophobic, you would hate it. So this place was very fun. I loved it. And it's another super slow day today at work but after work i'm very excited i think we're gonna go get drinks after work with elio and two former interns um they were actually in my very first work week video and we're gonna just kind of meet up we're all still friends so we're gonna get a drink catch up and yeah that's pretty much the plan it's unfortunately kind of cloudy and gloomy and i think it's gonna rain later today which is Fine, I was just kind of enjoying the sun, not gonna lie. I was also answering a few emails for work and personal stuff, but for breakfast, I actually had, this is actually what I made for lunch, but I had a lot left over. So this was a Greek salad with cucumbers, tomato, parsley, feta, and usually I put couscous, but we didn't have any. So I used leftover rice and this was so good, especially with habanero hot sauce, Mwah. amazing. This is today's outfit. I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren sweater that's actually my dad's this jean skirt i don't know the exact brand but i got it from marshall's my vince camuto boots that are also from marshall's and another long shot bag that is my mom's it's this really cute brown color and it's a nice change to kind of have the strap right here and since i am going to go out later i'm going to bring this little purse with me for later so i don't have to carry this whole thing and then these are just like my lip products my dog's toys and yeah so let's head out
Friday, everybody. It is the last day of the work week and it's another very slow day. So I'm not gonna really film at the showroom. So I'm gonna end the video here, but I thought I would do a quick little recap of transitioning from part-time to full-time. And to be honest, I thought it was gonna be like such a drastic change because like I said on Wednesday, when I filmed my first work week, um, when I was part-time, I remember I was just so tired and so exhausted. And it was weird because it wasn't much of a change because I was an intern there twice a week and then I went three times a week. So I thought five times a week would be such a big change in my life. But I feel like it was such a smooth transition because right before they hired me, there was a week where my coworker was sick. And I remember my boss actually asked me to come in an extra day and I would work like back to back for three days, maybe four days. So I feel like it was kind of perfectly, it just everything perfectly aligned. I got used to it. So transitioning to five days a week was just very easy for me. And my job is not very traditional. I'm not at a desk for hours. It's fun. I love my coworker. I love my bosses and I love being around clothes. You guys know I love fashion. So everything about my job, I love it. So being there for five days a week, it's not a big deal. I, I know there will be weeks where I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I'm tired, I don't wanna work, but I'm very happy with this new change in my life. And I feel like for the first time in a long time, I'm not thinking of like, what's next? Or, okay, now what I'm gonna do, I achieve this, this and that. Because months ago, I would maybe do an internship. And even while I was doing the internship, I'd immediately be thinking like, okay, what's my next step? What's my next place to go to? How am I gonna get my next job or my next internship? And I feel like, for the first time, I'm just very happy at where I'm at because I always struggled with kind of just enjoying the moment of where I'm at in life. I'm always, like I said, I'm always thinking of what's next. So I feel like for the first time, I'm just genuinely enjoying where I'm at in life. This probably sounds so repetitive, but it's very true. And what I also really like about working five days a week is that I feel like, okay, I thrive on structure. Maybe that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I've been loving it. I feel like I genuinely kind of have a morning routine now and I feel like I've been wanting a nice proper morning routine and it's been so hard for me because before I was even employed I would just like let life pass me by it was so hard to actually get into a routine I would just kind of like be in bed get up make a coffee and just sit and do nothing so having like this morning to myself I have just like that small chunk of time to kind of put in a workout have coffee read journal or do something so it's been very nice um I'm really enjoying it and I think it's going to make me appreciate the weekends so much more. Like I said, I would let life kind of just pass me by because every day was a free day to me. And overall, really enjoying everything. Um, I'm very happy at where I'm at. There's going to be so many more of these videos. And before I close off the video, let me just quickly show you guys my outfit. It's nothing that great because it's actually kind of chilly, not going to lie. This is my outfit. This is a Urban Outfitters sweater. It's actually that kimchi blue brand that they have. Three people jeans, my low-key kind of ugly clogs, and then I'm gonna bring my pink long sham. I also have my K heart necklace, and yeah, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, to sum it up, I'm very happy and very content. I hope what I was trying to say earlier made sense, but I've wanted this for a very long time, and I think a few of you guys know that, and yeah, so with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.